Hello there again, Loxman here, and we're going to be reviewing a little bit of another app, another first party app, in this case Jiri. Jiri is an email client, namely this here, and it's been tweaked by the elementary team in order to integrate it with elementary. For example, in this case, we do have it integrated with the elementary notifications, so that we're going to configure it, configure it right now. We're going to put. I'm going to put an. As you can see, we have Gmail, Yahoo Mail, and Outlook.com predefined. That is, you can simply insert one of those accounts and go on with your life. But the main drawback of the main problem, the the main point of conflict with the application is that it only supports. Let's see it here. In other, as you can see, it does only support EMAP servers, EMAP email accounts. It doesn't support the POP3 protocol. The problem with the POP3 protocol is that most every employer uses it. So if you are going to use your account for BIS, if your if your employer requires a POP3 account and does not allow you to use the EMAP protocol then you obviously cannot use Jiri. There are other clients like Thunderbird, Evolution, that do support POP3, but as it stands, Jiri is a is an actually a, a, an EMAP client so far. This uh, an interesting thing here. It's an interesting thing. It's uh, In fact, they, the Jiri team tried to expand their they try to expand their application by using crowdfunding. They were aiming for a hundred thousand dollars in Indiegogo, I think it was, but they only got fifty thousand. And obviously, they, uh, sorry, they didn't get the fifty thousand because they were not using the flexible funding uh, setting. So they did not get the money. They say they simply were able to raise the fifty thousand, but they didn't ever get it get them uh, the cash anyways let's just try and see what Jiri gives us and maybe if maybe we cannot raise the the hundred thousand that their developers wanted but maybe if you like it you can donate a couple bucks to them anyways I'll be putting I'll be inputting uh, our email account uh, now look dot com account so that you can see it. Sorry. Force of habit. Let's see what happens here. Kiri validates my account, it should. As I told you, you can use it with every server that allows you to use the EMAP protocol. Should be pretty empty. As you can see I didn't really want to use an account that would be compromising your would be compromising other people's data. Yep, here it is. So apparently, it didn't didn't really show me the. Oh, true. I forgot about this. References. No, but didn't. Anyway, the point is that we see how it works. Here we have the the interface. It's mostly composed of new message, reply, reply all, forward, mark conversation, for example. We can mark it as unread, star it, spam it. Anyway, we can add labels to our certain to a certain thing. For example, we can put it on junk, or we can actually uh, create labels and. Uh, can actually we can actually create labels. I don't think we uh, sorry we can actually manage the labels here. <coughs> so far we cannot uh, manage them from the app itself. Well, we can tag uh, and then we can lab label the the email that comes with the different labels. But in order to manage labels, you would have to go to the web client in this case. 
plus we do have the capability to move the conversation to other boxes. Side of that, a pretty simple thing. Obviously we can trash or archive the conversations, right, not in Outlook.com, but for example if we import a Gmail account you could be able to archive the, the account. I didn't input a Gmail account because aside of the obvious issue that I do, I am a, I am a Gmail user, my main account and I don't want to compromise anyone's privacy. What we have here is mostly a, a, shell, a shell account for the Windows 10 thing. <coughs> what is the main issue here is that uh, I use inbox and inbox creates different categories actually the Gmail account as well but the Gmail client as well but inbox particularly messes up a bit with mm, how is how the supposed imap standard labeling and so on go goes so it's a bit complicated to use it to use inbox with uh, Jiri or Jiri with or Jiri with uh, G the Gmail account they don't really work in unison if you want so if you need to manage your account from a certain place you will have to choose between either the web client or or this one and besides this one is still a bit featureless side of that we do have a nice interface that shows us it also supports uh, it also supports uh, touch in the same way as the uh, as midori did as we saw before we do have as well the capability to search inside our emails and we do have different things here we have a bit of help and the preferences which you can see are a bit sparse in comparison with what's usually in most uh, email clients. In this case we can select new messages, spell checking, new emails of notifications, uh, the spell, the likes. So it's not like you're going to... it's not like... it's mostly a lightweight uh, email manager in the same spirit that <coughs> that Midori is a lightweight browser. The fact is that Jiri as an application is a bit frail in this, it's a bit frail and it doesn't manage big workloads like, for example, uh, this other one, uh, the Midori could do. I didn't want to open 50 tabs in Midori to show, but I know it's a pretty reliable thing and I have been opening like 20 tabs there and they worked, anyways. But in here, for example, if you want to tag. If you want to mark uh, like 200 emails as unread or as a read, sorry, they would uh, the, the app would crash. It's not like pretty. It's not like it does have a robust architecture like, for example, Thunderbird or Evolution could do. So, in my opinion, while it does have some features, it really you really need a very lightweight need for an email client in order for you to be happy with Jiri. There are people who do have this sort of very lightweight need and it's fine. But certainly you won't be you won't be treated to the extensive functionality that that Thunderbird Evolution or Outlook provide and certainly not to the robustness of the application either. So I would mostly not recommend to use a jury unless you obviously want to further the application I know for a fact that evolution works pretty fine as do Thunderbird but I don't I, I'm not really going to compare right now how they work against this um, but the interface interface wise evolution is like quite nice and so shouldn't be an issue for you to get different software applications that are more fitting to your workload. As I said, this is mostly a lightweight application, same in the same tune as Midori was. And so this is what Midori, uh, Jiri can do for you. Thanks for watching and we'll be seeing the calendar app Maya next time.
hope you, that you have a nice time and we'll see you later.